Hello YouTube. Right, um, good. Change of plan. Something um, I I messed up last night's video completely um, by being a complete idiot trying to get this thing to work properly. Um, I lost the instructions. Couldn't find the instructions online, and then it grew onto me where I'd gone wrong. So I wasted a lot of time last night um, messing about with this thing when I didn't really have to. Um, I'll add some footage at the end so you can see how frustrating things got. Anyway, uh, I bought my original one of these uh, digital capacity meters from Lemon Blue, which is an eBay seller. Uh, cost me around 20 quid, and since then several other sellers have started selling this module. I'll link it in the description so you can see what I mean. Um, so basically, uh, it's a digital display with shunt. Um, if you're using less than 10 amps, you don't need the shunt. Um, you can wire it straight in on these. Um, it has three buttons and a green backlight. Um, as you can see, the backlight is off and we have a 12 volt supply connected through this lead acid battery. Um, if we change, uh, push and hold the bottom button, it says set off voltage. Now if your battery goes below the 9.6 that is set there, it will turn the whole display off and you won't have, you'll just have a blank screen. Um, so the whole time your battery is above that voltage, the screen uh, without the backlight will stay on. You've got two other buttons, top, bottom. If you press uh, top, it actually uh, fills the battery up to 50 amp hour, although you haven't charged anything or discharged anything. So if you're putting, say, a fresh uh, pack of um, lithium cells on, uh, say you've got a pack which is, uh, I don't know, 50 amp hour, like it says here, uh, and you've just balanced charged it without connecting this capacity meter in, and you know it's 50 amp hour, then this is going to be correct. If you push the middle button, it will then completely empty the battery. So you could do this for, say, bottom balancing. Uh, you could... Uh, um, bottom balance your batteries to a safe level, uh, connect your battery to the capacity meter and providing that the uh, top capacity is higher, so say you connected a 30 amp hour pack to this item um, and uh, you had it at zero and the, fifth, the, the uh, capacity meter is set up to 50 amp hour, you could then charge your battery pack up and although the percentage and the um, uh, will be out um, when your pack is finished charging, you will have uh, like a the capacity that's gone into it. it may not be 100% correct, but there's some people choose to do it that way. Me. So let's put it back up to full. Uh, we have a white MR16 12 volt lamp connected on the negative side of the shunt. I'll put it into the positive side and see what happens. Ow, it's getting warm. You can see it's putting 4.2-ish amps, 49 watts. And if we have a 50 amp hour battery, our pack will last 11 hours, 50 minutes. Uh, it gives us percentage, amp hour, gives us time remaining, gives us wattage, gives us amps, and gives us the battery voltage. All of this is uh, information that I like to have. And I'll be honest, more information is better than none. Uh, this bar declines as the discharge happens. But the interesting thing is, you can actually connect a charger into this pack. And if I just get my IMAX V6 leads. If you connect it negative to the far side of the shunt. If you connect, if you connect negative to the far side of the shunt, positive to uh, battery positive. Start your charge using whatever device you choose. The screen will flash to say it's charging. It will show the current going in, the wattage, and the time remaining until your 100% charge state is reached. If we then set, if we set this uh, down to nothing by pushing the middle button, you'll see it wants 51 hours uh, to charge. It counts milliamp hours. Over a certain range, it will change to amp hours and the percentage will climb. The battery bar is a nice touch. I like it going up to say it's charging. It's a shame it actually doesn't do that when it's discharging going the other way. But I suppose a solid bar counting down in segments is probably a bit more uh, intuitive. 
Right, now let's have a quick look at um, the next menu, which is actually <coughs> hidden. It's not very easy to get to. Uh, the instructions are supplied in Chinese, and uh, you have to translate them yourself. Uh, I was, uh, in my blind ignorance, just pushing down all three buttons, because I knew that you have to push down all three buttons to get into the hidden menu. What I didn't realize is, is you have to hold down all three buttons, and then add power to it. It takes a few attempts to get into the menu. Once you're in there, it's, uh, well, I could have almost thrown a party last night. Oh, don't prove me wrong. And the hot smooth has moved. Aha! We are in. So as you can see, it's a bit fiddly. Um, I tried umpteen different ways to get in there last night. Pop rivets and connect blocks. I tried a fork, and I tried three pencils taped together. So I I was having a, trem a tremendous amount of fun last night. Uh, we got four um, settings: set cap, which is capacity; set resistance, which is the resistance of the um, shunt. Uh, you got calibration for current and voltage. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't ever had the need to mess about with any of the settings other than set capacity. Uh, I'm not going to even bother going into the menus because I'll probably muck it up and I'll never get back <laughs> out how it was. Um, so set capacity is the only one I'm interested in. I found, to be honest, that they are quite um, accurate. We had the 50 watt lamp on there and it was reading 49 watts. I'm happy with that. Um, so set capacity uh, and it's amp hours and it's anything from uh, practically 0.1 up to 999.9 .9. so um, I'm going to set this up and it's already set up from last night uh, at uh, 50 amp hours if you push and hold um, hang on my fingers aren't very good if you push and hold it doesn't um, run up the scale for each amp hour you physically have to push the button in it's not a case of push and hold and it'll climb which is really annoying um, but once this is set up you shouldn't really have to go into it again uh, I suppose if you change shunts you might um, for a, like a higher um, uh, what do you call it higher resistance or lower resistance for different current types then uh, you, you you will have to go in there, but uh, it's just a case of uh, resistance. Uh, so I'm just going to disconnect the power because when you disconnect power, it takes you back out of that menu. I haven't actually found another way to come out of the menu at all, and uh, we have our 50 amp hours. Uh, so really simple as that, and it's going to be implemented in with the uh, boost converter, switch, USB module, uh, and everything. Uh, I think I've probably made this more complicated for this for for the weekend away, but uh, make it look pretty, uh, sort of thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, I've now got a, 
uh, edit this or throw it all together in the video editing software, uh, stick it up on YouTube, it's probably about it's about five o'clock now, so that shows you how how far behind I am. And uh, I've got to start again uh, preparing the next lot. Hopefully, uh, I'm not doing really well getting up the same day, but we'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll see what we can do. So I I might see you again this evening, um, but I've got got my work cut out. So thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next instalment. Cheers. <laughs>should be the finale hopefully how many times is it going to take to get this right yes no damn it Yes! No! Yes! 
Yeah. Lock it. Got it. Whew. Well, there goes most of the evening and most of my video recording time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I'll see you tomorrow when uh, it's time to put this together.